Hey, what is up guys? PC Via. Welcome back to Tech Bio. Well, today I have a different kind of video for you guys. So today I'm going to show you how you can use your Canon DSLR with your laptop using just one piece of free software and that will make your live streams and video calls look much much better. So let's get into it. Now let's just see what we need. So number one obviously the Canon DSLR. Number two a mount, a tripod, a monopod or something you can just rest your camera upon. Number three a high speed USB cable it usually comes paired with that. And of course number four a laptop. Well any kind of good laptop you have in your house or just any laptop in, in common. Well today I am going to be using the Asus VivoBook R540U. I have already made a video on it. Find it up there on the right hand corner and down in the description. Now before we just get to the software parts, there's something you guys need to do. Number one, obviously mount your camera, turn it on and put it on the video mode. Okay, so right now the very first thing you guys should do is to go ahead and find out what is the actual name of the camera. Now obviously you might just know that. So for example, mine is the US 1200D. The problem is that is what it's called outside North America. So if you're living outside North America, it might have some different names. So for example, here I opened up a Wikipedia page and on the right hand corner I can immediately find that there are three different names and usually that's for three different regions. So for, it's called the Rebel T5 in North America, the 1200D outside North America and I believe in Japan it's called the Kiss X70. Now what we're going to do here is going to, we are going to go ahead and use that Rebel name to open it into USA, so the USA website. So for example, okay, the next step you guys have to do is to just go into your browser search and search Canon USA. And immediately you have the link to the USA section of Canon and we have actually the Canon USA here. But what you're gonna do is we're gonna go into this search box and type what we just found. So for example, it's called the Rebel T5. Now once I put that in, I should actually find the camera here. So this is the Rebel T5. Well, right here is the whole camera all together. But right now, let's just click into that and see what you're gonna get. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a drivers and download section. So number one, let's click that there. And then scroll all the way until we find the EOS webcam utility. So right now, this is it. This is the EOS webcam utility. This is the software that is going to help us to use the camera in both well, let's just say some video calling, video calling platforms and also live stream platforms like OBS. So number one, we just open up that drop down there and go down until we find the download button. Once you click the download button, it should be automatic. Just choose your file folder and just put it in there. Okay, so now once we are done with that, let's just close this and find out. Once again, let's just... Open. Okay, once you've opened up your folder, you will find that we have this zip file waiting for us here. Now, you can use these two installers, but that is included. You have at least some other different Canon software already preloaded from the CD that came with your camera. Now, for me, I actually didn't get, find that CD. So, what you're going to do is we are going to hit setup. So, once you open up the setup here, right? So, once you open up the setup here, we are going to find this file. So, as you can see, it says setup language, we say next. And we can say, we can see here, welcome to the wizard for USB webcam utility setups. Just hit next, it's going to show you the way. And now hit accept next. Yeah, just save it wherever you want. And finally, just hit install. Now, this is going to run it as administrator. You just have to hit yes again here. And now we just have to wait for it to install. Okay, so EOS webcam utility got successfully installed. Now, let's just open up a fresh new OBS here. And now I'm going to show you guys how you can use this DSLR using this software EOS webcam utility as a webcam. So for example, under here in the sources tab, all you have to do is hit the plus icon here, then go down to video capture device, then click OK. Now you will get another pop up here, which will show you which kind of device you actually need. So for example, here, this is actually the webcam that is inside my laptop. So it doesn't really look that great. It's at 480p too. Then let's just go ahead and hit EOS webcam utility. So this is actually EOS webcam utility. Now, as I, am, as I know, it's actually 720p here. So as soon as we get this going, There we go. So this is actually 720p and as you can see here, this really, really looks neat. So for example, 
it is actually a really good idea using your DSLR as a webcam. So for, there are a lot of lot of perks. So well, let me just hit OK on this here. This is the final product. So actually you can use it during a live stream. So let's just drag it all the way down here. And if you want to crop it, all you have to do is hold Alt and pull this all the way down here. Same for this side too. Then what you can do is you can just equally remove the black bars and just zoom in and zoom out as as per that square so this is actually a really good idea if you ask me now let's let me show you how to do it in video calls too but the thing is you can't have both of them open so you either got to close obs or you just don't use video calls so for example here i just close up obs now i do have google meet open here now this is again just uh, obs virtual camera i'm going to go ahead to settings go to video and I'm just going to show you again how the webcam looks. So this is actually the webcam. Again, not that great, especially when it's this maximized. Now let's go, go back to settings and change this to EOS webcam utility. Now again, let's just change the resolutions here as well. So this 720p high definition. And there you have it. So this is actually EOS webcam utility. utility. This is the DSLR which is actually showing the video onto the laptop on in Google Meet. Now actually what I will do is I'll also show you guys how you can use these backgrounds. So I will actually put a full background, blur background here. And as you can see that looks really really good. So I have never really seen a camera do such good background blurring. It looks that good because there are a lot of perks and this is one of them. There are a lot of perks using your DSLR as a webcam. And yes, this looks really, really cool. Now you can also add in a couple of background, backgrounds. So this also looks really good. And again, just to prove to you guys, this is not a green screen. This is just, this is just plywood, okay? And now the problem here is that there are two black bars as you can see here. Now, obviously, if you don't mind that, that's really good. You can use this as it is. It will really, really look good. And I really suggest doing this. I really suggest by getting the software, it's free too. And you can use this as your daily driver webcam. Again, what you do have to remember is the fact that it won't work with two different two different software at once. So for example, if you're using, with o using it with OBS, you can't make a meeting at the same time. Why would you? And at the same time, it's not vice versa as well. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. I hope it was informative. Let me know down there in those comments. I'll help you guys with some problems if you have it. I'm PCV. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Just so you guys can hit that bell and be tuned for a little more epic tech content. But until then guys, goodbye.